Oh, um, that's what I said. Anyhow. What? I, 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 I think I said his name. Did I say his name wrong? Well, regardless, we actually don't see the Terry from Jen ah, after we hyped okay. it up for so much. We do see the uh, Palutena coming out. If and he loses game one with Palutena, do you think he might go Terry? Hopefully, because the way he's been playing Terry has just been exciting and a really refreshing change of pace. And right now, this is where you're going to be seeing most of the match actually played. Lucina versus Palu, the Tri-State special of like, it's just going to be them taking turns, ledge trapping each other. Ledge trapping and also juggling. Mm -hmm. But already, Jen is doing a pretty good job of not being consistently juggled by E, which is... You definitely, you only get to do that after you've played against E a lot. Yeah. You really have to know what he's looking for. Oh, I don't know if he wanted to parry that or he just panicked and dropped shield because he didn't want to get his shield broken, but that pretty much lost Jen all of the stage control. Ooh. And now, as a result, well, he finally managed to have it again, but at 112%, there's a lot, there are lots of ways Mr. E could probably end him right here. Yep. And unfortunately, John overcommitted to the dash grab a little bit earlier, dropping the ledge trap opportunity, but the back here throwing Mr. E back into the mix and catching him sleeping on the explosive flame, where the neutral air dodge would have been more than appropriate. Yeah, it's one of those things where technically you should never get hit by explosive flame off stage. Yeah, it's a vibe check. It's, you, you st it still happens. It happens to everybody. Yep. Uh, even to phenomenal players like Mr. E. Uh, Mr. E was trying to read like an aggressive getup option by just holding a shield. Maybe he was trying to position himself for up B out of shield. But Jen already put, throwing Mr. E off stage, reading the fact that he would get back on aggressively with the dash back pivot grab. And in that instance, he did not unfortunately connect the grab, effectively resetting neutral. And right now, Jen and Mr. E are constantly switching stage control. Mr. E lands the first blow here. A uh, bit of a miss input. I don't think he wanted that particular angle because he loses that stock. And although he was at very high percent, the fact that Mr. E had to play to find yeah. a kill. It's so hard to get kills in this game. And even if your opponent's at like a 200%, you start playing to get that kill. And if your opponent is aware of that, they can play around it. Game Nevertheless, Jen looking really nice here. The back of an entire game. stock. And... You know, this match is actually being paced relatively quickly compared to how I've actually been seeing it before. But regardless, Mr. E is starting to get a little, little something going with that nail, putting Jan into a precarious slug trap scenario, but them just constantly switching who has what stage. Ooh, Jan getting something started with the nail, able to convert another one into a forwarder for a very hefty 23.2%. Really good pressure from Mr. E, but he gets hit once and look at all the damage that gets dealt out. I don't know if he has a jump. Yeah, he has no jump and he's yep. off state and he is gone. This, uh, Jen, you know, as much as I'd like to see the Terry, I will not fault him for sticking Pally yep. right now because he is looking really nice. Mm -hmm. Um, Ugalila's jumping into game two. We're gonna see them run it right back to, no, we're gonna see them run into Battlefield, which Again, like, it, it is a stage of failures, both of these characters, but the way that Lucina is able to have her tilts cover the entirety of the platforms, it is even harder for Jen to get off of ledge. I feel like Lucina's definitely a character that benefits with the platforms a lot more when it comes to ledge trapping, or just, like, playing patient. I but think also a part of those platforms might help him out, because he was, uh, Jen was landing with back air a lot. Yeah. And specifically, it would be when Mr. E would go up to meet him. So if he's able to stay underneath those platforms, he can apply a lot more safe pressure trying to catch Jen's yep. landings. Oh, really, really great bait on the up out of shield and is able to get so much off of it, not even percent-wise, but just position-wise. Mr. E stuffing out. I believe Jen tried to do an F tilt there with his own down tilt. Good teleport cancel. Gets him down to the ground. That is one advantage that Palu does have on this stage. Oh, and another is that... Oh, man, having those platforms means she can really go up to yep. meet her opponent with the up air and it can kill so silly early. Jen able to connect another dash attack into like just the extended catch on uh, Mr. E's drift into the back air. Mr. E's just stringing Jen along with those down tilts. But this is super scary, but <gasps> oh, not. he did not want that. That was the perfect opportunity to go for a big forward smash. And as a result, 
Zen is in stage control. He might be able to kill even with a back air here. He gets it, and that's huge yeah. for him. And you could see the expression on Mr. E's face. That wasn't just a, oh, man, I lost that stock. That was, I lost that stock, and I should be up right now. Yeah. Because he absolutely read that counter before. But as a result, Jenna is able to capitalize so much out of it, unfortunately missing the second nail into his nail. But Jenna is a pretty hefty lead, just considering how difficult it is to take a stock in this matchup. But as soon as I say that, Mr. is able to land a falling forward. In. <laughs> he just stands there and witnesses like three defensive options from Mr. E. Somehow doesn't punish any of them. Though. Yeah. It was great patience, but he didn't pull the trigger. So maybe, I mean, that's something that happens a lot with players. That, uh, you know, they'll do a really good job of baiting out an opponent's option, but then they either don't punish to the fullest, yep. or they just don't pull the trigger on a punish when they easily could. Mm -hmm. um, but regardless, right now, Jen has dropped the lead that he once had. Mr. So Leek definitely capitalizing on the fact that Jen is going off stage, but I love that recovery mix up from Jen just choosing to bounce up. And the way he's just like able to like really, really patiently get down from those platforms using the extended, uh, using the really, really active hitbox of his up air to chase him along the platforms with Palutena's drift to lead the techs. That is really, really brilliant stuff from Jeff. Beautiful parry into back there. I will say Mr. E is doing a really good job picking his defensive options overall. He's been getting back down to the ground. His tech chase, the tech chase situations have been turned around on Jen. I think that. I think Jen needs to get a better read on those panic. Yeah. What would in other situations be panic options? Because Mr. E is only taking a bit of damage every time he gets hit. <gasps> and oh, <sighs> who's seeing so many SDs today? It's just one of those nights, you know. It really be like that sometimes, guys. But regardless, it's not too much of a deficit to come back from. Only at uh, only at 23 percent, Mr. E at 99 percent. All that uh, Jen really needs is one. Really good edge guard. You see him going through the explosive flames, but Mr. E drifting around it beautifully. Ah, uh, that was really great for Mr. E. He was like thinking, okay, John's gonna mix up his recovery. He's gonna go ahead and teleport, cancel on one of these platforms, and, actually, and he got it. You could see the beginning of back air come out. It was really smart to go for up tilt, which is one of uh, Lucina's more long-lasting moves. Yeah. So the hitbox stayed out there for a while, but. Jen is going to be taking that second to last stop, Surprises. now facing down Mr. E. If yeah. he manages to beat him here, if he manages to take this stop, he will be moving on in winners to the finals. Uh, mm -hmm. He does not want to have to go game three against Mr. E, especially based on the way that Mr. E has, it seems like he's adapting. That was so, so good, but Mr. E unfortunately dropping his shield a little bit prematurely in response to the Palatine Man, and thus Jen was able to get so much off of it, 53% and all of the stage control for the time being. But Mr. E knocking uh, Jen back with that nail. And Mr. E, this is a rock, paper, scissors scenario with those teleports. Eventually, Mr. E is going to get it right and be able to F tilt it for the F deal off stage, just perpetuating Jen's advantage ever so slowly, building up percent. The down tilt not converting into anything or the kill option, but the aggressive up be back onto the stage is definitely going to give Jen the stage control that he really needs. And Mr. E has to be so patient when he's buffering. Oh! That could have been horrible for Mr. Yes. E, but he managed to get back down to the left without any huge problems. Oh, look at these guys. They're in each other's <gasps> face. He drops shield at the last second. Wow. And that's going to be enough. Mr. E takes game two. We're going to be seeing a game three between these guys. I won. All right, now we're going to be seeing the stage counter pick. Uh, this time for Jen. It feels like that game one on FD went pretty well for him, so maybe another flat-ish stage. It seems that we're going to be getting Town in City. So, I mean, overall, I think that it's it's nice that it has the mixture of platforms, and it also is a long stage if, you, uh, if Jen wants to focus more on just grinding out and playing neutral. More space for him, though, means that he can retreat a little bit more against these... Uh, Lucina sword attacks. I'm actually loving this from Mr. Edo. Oh, great. The run up shield right there. So smart. He's going to get a decent punish. So far, though, these guys are going blow, blow for blow. And right as I say that, a huge, huge combo. That juggle situation working out really well for Mr. E. Let's see if Jen can retaliate in kind. 
he needs to because if these damage, if the damage being dealt between these two guys is not equivalent, they're so even and neutral that it's just going to slip away from him. Then at the ledge, manages to get off, but put into the situation once more. Beautiful dash attack beating out the neutral air from Mr. E. And now already Mr. E in the red. He's almost done. He's now at 100%. Even if Jen doesn't take this stock, even if he loses the stock right here, he is not in a terrible position. He can respawn and pretty much even things up immediately. Although he might not even get to that point. That was so good! He teleport canceled then air dodged back onto the platform to avoid the punish from Mr. E. Uh, the spacing right now from Jen is looking really good. Once he gets these higher percents, his... Look at it! The, the timing, the positioning, just so good from Jen. But an up B out of shield, not actually enough. With no rage on Mr. E, it's... He has to find another hit here. <laughs> They are just holding shield. Both of them nervous because, yeah, one stray hit at these lower percents. Palutena can do so much damage off of it. Another F tilt, but that's, maybe that was a late hit because he's still alive. Jen doing a really good job. The neutral air going to be killing on the other side of town and city. 18% is not really that significant as we see one grab combo from Mr. E has basically made this a completely even game. That was so good, he dashed underneath the neutral air from Jen. He's been playing around those pretty well this game. Oh, right as I say that, Jen going for some of the other options. That up tilt, it's just a really good anti-air. The hitbox on it, super solid, even against a sword character like Lucina. See the patience, see the way that these guys are just moving around in neutral. Not really, there's so many points where they're not committing. Very intelligent play from both guys here. Nice parry, but doesn't actually want to punish up air deceptively hard, even off of a parry. Missing that two frame really big for uh, Mr. E. As it stands, though, 137%, and it seems to even be growing, but the question is whether he can actually get a kill with it. Back air from mid stage is still not enough. 160% on Jen also means that he has a ton of rage. Moves like up air will be killing that much earlier. And neutral air. Oh. Helotina feels like she has a lot of moves that scale really well with, with rage. Multi hits in general. Oh, that was so great. Just runs up and then turns around. Recognizes that roll and gets an up tilt. Mr. E possibly on the... Uh, the last stock that he has to take from Jen in order to guarantee a spot in winner's finals. Oh, what a beautiful wait. That dash attack wasn't quite enough to do it, but 122% on Mr. E. It's a scary life to be in. Good spot dodge. Oh, and he waits it out that time. I was about to say the pressure from Mr. E is so good, but you can't pressure the same way twice against a man like Jen. It'll be huge. Air Josh is down. That's actually, it's smart. Uh, wanted to make sure he was as far away from Jen as possible. In the end though, that put him on the ledge and Jen able to clean things off with that neutral air. Guys respecting what the opponent can do once more, just dashing back and forth. That single neutral, that single forward air able to lead to about 24%. Look at all of the damage is so consistent from Jen. Mr. E, it's usually he has to, you know, get a second read to get extra percent, but those little nicks are able to just almost even things out here, but Mr. E at 66%. Jen is at 90. He might die here! 
Wow, one missed tech is all he needed. That's going to be Mr. E moving on in the winner's bracket when he's going to face the winner of the match we're about to see. Going to be Venia versus Utopian Ray. So it seems like we have a pretty standard fair uh, top, top finishers here. 